short form content, right? In the form that we've known it, it's basically right now, if you ask me, a house of cards starting to implode on itself. It kind of does feel like after Instagram, now all platforms have entered identity crisis mode. We kind of have a problem, my friends, and I don't know about you, but I recently kind of started to get the feeling that social media content is starting to get boring a little bit. Everybody's just reusing the same strategies. There's no innovation. Nobody thinks for themselves about their audience. There's big season creators who seem to have issues getting views over on TikTok, for example. I've been working with some of them, you know, view uh, follower millionaires of TikTok suddenly barely being able to get 10,000 views per video. There's something wrong if you ask me. Same thing on Instagram, by the way. Some older accounts, they just seem to have hit a breaking point a bad breaking point not being able to get out and there's so many creators that i've worked with recently who had to start a fresh brand new account abandoning their 250,000 followers for example i mean it works but i'm not sure if that's a really the best way to go about it and even here on youtube right things do feel slightly different i mean maybe it's just me right reaching the ceiling of the average shelf life of a creator with five years coming up maybe that means i just need a break i'm not sure i mean i kind of have been taking breaks anyway in case you haven't noticed and one day i'll be back with regular uploads more regular uploads but right now i just can't creator burnout is actually a real thing maybe i'll talk about it at some point now take a look at social media right short form content long form content it kind of does feel like after instagram now all platforms have entered identity crisis mode and you probably haven't noticed it but there's actually a silent war being played out right in front of us by all social media platforms. And once you start to understand their moves and see what they do, everything that happened in the past few months all starts to make so much sense. So let me try to show you the chess game of these major social media platforms. And if you ask me, there's a real possibility that this whole short form house of cards is actually about to collapse. I'm actually not joking. Let me explain. So. Let's start with the biggest question mark. Why is TikTok essentially becoming vertical? Short form YouTube, right? Because recently more and more, seems like three minute plus videos are the only ones getting pushed out right now on TikTok. There's so many super big TikTok creators, like I just mentioned, who are barely able to get 10,000 views anymore just because of this. Why? We're gonna answer that in a second. But before that, YouTube has also been playing around with shorter, but not shorts content, right? And if we look at YouTube right now, they're kind of lacking dedicated, good, really good shorts creators. And uh, to be honest, looking at this whole chessboard and a war move thing, I'm not even sure about shorts anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the way they're right now. I mean, generally speaking. And to be honest, I believe Instagram now does a pretty solid job pushing out diverse content. The biggest example being people in my creator mentorship program, which is, by the way, if you ask me, humbly, the best creator focused, real hands-on mentorship out there. I'm actually, actually speechless about how the pro program was and about all the help I got and the results I got. It really, really changed my life. Cliche alarm, but <laughs> it really did. Great, I'm getting goosebumps here, man. Don't. You need to stop speaking. But um, yeah, on average, our creators grow the best and most predictable way on Instagram. And if you want me personally to help you and set up your strategy and basically know how to deal with all this shit that we're talking about here in this video, just uh, drop me a DM on uh, Instagram at hey Dominic if you want to work with me. We only have a few spots available. Actually, no idea how many, but um, just drop me a DM. We're gonna see. Now, th that obviously only being the creator side, which like I said, very great. But of course this only works if the platform side is all good. And yeah, I believe it's not good at all right now. And to be honest, I think none of the platforms currently have a real plan, a dedicated long-term plan on how to make short form content profitable for the platforms, right? Not for the creators. And if that happens, if they don't know how to make it profitable, we're just not gonna have short form content anymore at all, unfortunately, which would be a bummer. Now, I said none have a real plan with an asterisk because YouTube might have made one of the most genius moves in this war, but maybe that was not even intentional. So yeah, we're gonna see in a few months, I guess. Now, obviously all of these platforms right now are sort of panicking and we can kind of see it with all these rapid changes being made seemingly all over the place. Like Instagram suddenly being like, well, yeah, we're gonna drop the monetization at Reels bonus program suddenly. 
nobody expected that. We've talked about it. Suddenly Meta and, and Instagram, they're like, well, yeah, we need to be profitable with Reels. And suddenly they're all talking about business, right? Which just a few years back, they were actually saying quite the opposite basically saying, well, we don't really care about money right now. We have enough money. Remember their plan to invest $1 billion to get creators over from TikTok, for example, to Facebook and Reels. Cause money, we, money is no issue. We see the long-term vision. Well, it seems like it didn't work out in just a few, one and a half years. So there's actually panic on this one site, meta site. But similar things are actually happening over on TikTok. I mean, do you think that their push for longer videos is just because people love it? Because <laughs> it seems like lots of people don't really love long form videos being pushed in front of them on TikTok. But the problem is, what else are they going to do? Because short form content, right, in the form that we've known it, is basically right now, if you ask me, a house of cards starting to implode on itself. We got, let's say, TikTok right the platform that kind of established short form content i know it was fine but you know what i'm trying to say and these platforms instagram as well need obviously need money to operate and the only way pretty much for them to get money is by showing ads in front of their content in front of their video either in front of the videos on the side right maybe even below the video stuff like this but if you think about it how many ads can you actually show after right or during even a six second video probably not even if you were to put one below the video let's say because attention right people are going to be confused where to look or they're not even going to notice the ad right because they're so glued to whatever the five second piece of content is and obviously the more ads you generally put in because they have to compensate for that, the more users are gonna be pissed, not really enjoying their time on, on the platform. Which in turn means the advertisers are gonna jump ship. And here's where it really becomes a serious issue for TikTok, even Instagram. Because of this whole thing, they need to establish longer form content on their platforms. So far so good. But the other thing is they also need to get creators to create longer form content. And the ones creating shorter form content are probably not gonna get paid nearly as much as the ones who create longer form content. Now, the big issue with this whole thing is most people, according to lots of surveys being done even by me, prefer long form content on YouTube and not on their phone vertical mode style. They came to TikTok and Instagram for short form content. Instagram actually for pictures, but that's a whole nother story. And this is where we're at right now, right? Especially thinking about TikTok. They're kind of stripping away their initial identity, sort of like Instagram already did with the photo thing. And people are not going to like it, which also like I said, means advertisers are also not going to like it, which is probably something really bad. Similar things happened to MySpace back in the days. Unfortunately, yes, but it died. Now, here's where the maybe genius move of YouTube comes into play, or maybe not. Maybe it's just random. But personally, I believe in a moment of clarity and foresight, YouTube has spotted this huge opportunity for them, this huge mistake that these other platforms make right now. And just a few days ago, they actually dropped their monetization requirements out of the blue in case you haven't heard it now you need just 500 subscribers i think and a lot less views on uh, shorts in order to join the youtube partner program and get paid and here's why i think this makes a lot of sense actually TikTok, and to an extent instagram you know in my opinion it's a little bit better on instagram because of the stories and the, the regular feed with photos and carousels and all these things but these platforms sort of slowly become dependent on longer form videos in order to stay profitable in the mid to long run which is okay to an extent but it's not their identity it's not why users came to these platforms in the first place especially TikTok, which just exploded because of short form really short form good short form content now that's gonna cause a lot of creators to be pissed right especially the big og creators over on the TikTok who have hundreds of thousands of followers or even millions of followers and can't seem to get reach because the thing they are doing the best and the thing their audience likes is just not being shown by their algorithms because they have to push longer videos in order to stay afloat now youtube on the other hand can pretty much grab the traditional short form seven second videos and still push them out and still monetize because they also have the real long form side of things nailed down anyway they're not really dependent on these shorter long form shorts, if you get what I mean. And this is exactly why I think they dropped their partner program requirements just a few days ago. It's so that creators actually come over and realize, oh, 
I can actually do what I used to do on TikTok, get paid, get more reach again, and also sort of dabble into real long form content. And the requirements are, are now a lot lower, so might as well do it right now because I'm not getting reach on TikTok anyway or Instagram. And the more you think about it, Seems like these platforms are actually fighting a hard and very uncertain fight because they, they're just acting really quickly. We're not used to that. They used to act really f slowly, which was a bad thing too. But to be honest, I still wouldn't want to be in the shoes of our old friend Maziri, for example, or the TikTok dude. Now, I personally believe TikTok's gonna be in s some sort of trouble pretty soon. And Instagram, maybe a little bit, but to be honest, uh, taking a look at the data that I have, it's starting to become s more solid than ever. Now, like I said, YouTube kind of being behind, especially in terms of short form, probably now has the advantage and has the potential to finally, or again, try to take people over and establish itself as the actual number one. So what should you do? Obviously create content on all platforms right now and just try to build your actual tribe, actual fans. So it doesn't really matter whether, you know, algorithm changes are happening on TikTok or over on Instagram, or maybe even on YouTube. And there is a video that shows you exactly how to build your tribe, how to get real fans in order to yeah, grow on all platforms with all your content. There you go.